Hello everyone, my name is ClickFlow and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Thrive Guide. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a, I'm having a pretty good one. As you can see, we are starting off here at the castle build site, the Blackstone Castle build site, and we have done a fair bit of work uh, on some live streams before. You can see that we've started our uh, outer wall of our castle, or I... I guess I should say the inner wall because we're going to want to build one outside of the of the castle village uh, itself. But um, these are uh, uh, at least a sample of the towers and the wall pattern. As you can see, I, 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 I think it's it's uh, starting to come together very nicely. I like how it uh, um, has the polished blackstone brick uh, speckled in with the polished blackstone. I think that's looking good. Today, I think we are going to work on the castle again today. Uh, we are going to work specifically on uh, moving in because I think we're, we're at the point where we've been working on this for a while. We've, we've put quite a bit of time into it. And um, I think we need to uh, get to a point where we can start moving our things in and start uh, using this as our main base of operations. As useful as that starter house was on our little tiny uh, deserted island, I think it will be a good idea to move into our permanent base, at least our, our end game base. And so uh, I think today I want to work on this building here, which is going to be the storage center. Um, it's, it's, it's going to be more of an industrial type building. It's, it's not going to look as fancy as, as some of the other ones, but it will probably be the one that we use the most because it will have uh, our our sorting system uh, and uh, and and a lot of the the farms and such that we can have inside the base uh, and so I kind of want to get that done and once we get that done then we can start moving our things into the so to the storage system that we build and and our base will become uh, fully functional we can get all the functionality out of our base. So that's where we're, we're going to work on and then on live streams and such we might continue the castle wall around. And such, and then we'll do some other uh, uh, other videos on building the great hall and the stables and such like that. But um, off camera, I have been doing a quite a bit of resource gathering um, to get all the supplies I think we'll need for this video. I'm pretty sure we have everything, but you know me, there's probably something that I've forgotten. So <laughs> we will uh, get to that later in the video. But I've got three shulker boxes and a little bit just full of blackstone so that we can actually, we can just go ham. I also have some miscellaneous things with some other, of uh, uh, some of our polished blackstone bricks, some of the leftovers we had from the wall, some red concrete, which will be good, some basalt, which we could then uh, speckle into it. I think that'll look fantastic. And I also, in this shulker box, I got some warped stem blocks. Uh, and I think those are going to look great. We got some shroom lights and some warped warp blocks you might be wondering why that is but I, I don't know if you put it down like this it looks really good as as a carpet um, and, and I, I think having a carpeted floor would look pretty good and I think the blue versus the red and black is is a good uh, is a good texture I'm, I'm really excited about that so I think we're gonna go ahead and start building Okay, there are a few things that I want to do at first. Uh, one of the main things that I wanted to do is I kind of wanted this to look square and uh, kind of squatty so it looks like an industrial building. Um, I think that would be a really good thing because we want this to have the appearance of an industrial type building. We don't want it to be the main attraction to our uh, um, to our castle and we and we kind of wanted to give it the impression that like the king was cutting corners you know on the on the construction so that it so that it didn't cost so much um and so but i didn't want it to look uh, completely plain you know i wanted to give it some variety so i think i wanted to actually come in a few blocks like this and just um round some of these corners maybe something like that instead of or, or we'll, we'll, I can think of something so, so, so that it looks a little bit more round, um, not exactly just like a, a, a diagonal chopped off of it, but uh, so, something more rounded instead of just the straight corner. 
I think that will give uh, some good variety to the structure. And then I'm actually going to replace this, uh, this main section here with some red concrete. I think placing some red concrete around the base will make it look pretty good and then building the black stone on the top of this. I think that's going to look pretty good and that's going to give it a little bit of that variety so it looks similar to the, the same kind of color palette as the walls and the, uh, the castle towers and then we'll speckle in some of the warp stem blocks. So I'm going to cut away and uh, round off some of these corners, lay the foundation, and then I'll bring you guys back in so that I can show you kinda uh, what I'm uh, thinking for this building and how we're gonna put it together. But yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna go away and do that and I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. All right, so here we are. I've cut off some of these corners so they look a bit more rounded and I'm thinking that looks pretty good. We can take a look at it from above just to make sure. Yeah, that's that's looking pretty good. It's still looking pretty rectangular, but I want it to look at least a little bit um, different from just the, the blocky corners and stuff. And I decided to put the uh, the the red concrete strip a little bit above the the very bottom of the foundation just so it's a very straight uniform line i kind of like that because the concrete itself is uh, is like a solid color I've, if you if you get really close to it of course it does have a little bit of pixelation but it's pretty much the closest thing to a solid color you're going to get in minecraft um and and so uh and this this is kind of a difficult situation to use this because we are building on a hill so this is kind of be like the building is kind of buried into the hill so not uh, all of the exterior will be visible from uh, from the outside um, of course once we uh, once we finish building the exterior of this we're going to dig out all of that mountainside so we're gonna have a lot of space in there to work with I'm pretty happy about that uh, one of the next things I want to do is I want to go ahead and build uh, a little um, entryway in here so that we can easily access uh, our uh, our storage facility. And so I'm going to level out some of this grass here so that we can get in. Okay, so we want to count from the corner. We want to figure out uh, ex the exact center of this and then I'll cut that hole open and then we can uh, build a little archway and, uh, and we'll probably in the fullness of time, we'll probably build like some sort of uh, piston door so that we can press a button and, and it'll open. I kind of want that to be kind of a fancy door. But for right now, I think we can just leave it as an archway uh, so that we can access it more easily just like that and so we can cut out a little bit extra so we have a little bit of headroom maybe we'll make this a little bit wider of a doorway like that uh, we can probably put that guy back and that guy back well I don't know maybe we'll do something like this yeah that looks pretty good that looks like a pretty good uh, doorway frame for right now um, and I, I'm not uh, necessarily going for all the detailing right now. A good uh, a good way to build, at least from from my experience, is to just lay out a basic foundation, getting it, uh, uh, getting the structure of it there, and then from there going and putting in a lot of the details and touching up things and altering it. Um, that's how I found the best success when I build and such. I'm not the best builder out in the, uh, in the world. So um, it kind of is up to your discretion. But I'm thinking that looks pretty good for our front door. Of course, uh, in the fullness of time, we'll probably have like a, a bridge going over the uh, over this river. So it's not just uh, leaving you in a dead end. Um, but yeah, so that's looking pretty good. The next step, I think, is I'm just going to build this up uh, all the way around uh, till we have pretty much the height of the building that we are going to work with. And I'm thinking right here maybe like one more block up something like that is going to be the extent of uh 
the height for this castle for this uh, for this building we don't want it to be too grandiose we don't want it to be too tall uh, because we don't want it to dwarf the other buildings but we do want it to be noticed you know so I think right here is probably where we're going to want to build the roof uh, and like I said it's kind of, it looks really squatty from right here because we're building it into the mountain but we will be taking out all of this terrain inside of it so it is going to be a fairly spacious room we're going to have a lot of area that we can build uh, some 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 farms in and our storage system. So uh, I th I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, build up the walls of this. Hopefully we, uh, we won't use all of our blackstone, but I brought a lot of it in case we needed to uh, use a ton. So, uh, well, enough of me blabbing. I will uh, save you guys the pain uh, of listening to me, and I will go ahead and start building this. And maybe we'll do that in the form of a time lapse so that you guys can enjoy that. All right, welcome back. And as you can see, we just finished up making the walls here and it looks kind of plain still. Uh, so we're gonna have to do something about that. But uh, this is looking pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy about this. I think the, the next step that I want to do is go through and wipe out all of this terrain inside the room so that we can lay down uh, the, the rest of the wall so that the interior looks nice and then maybe we'll put down the flooring and uh, possibly a second floor room area as well and then I think we'll worry about uh, how the exterior of it looks as soon as we're done with that 
so this is just going to be me digging out a lot of dirt. I don't think you guys care to see that too much. So I'm going to go ahead and cut away and do that off camera. And I will be back with you guys as soon as we have this dug out and the rest of the walls put in so that we can start uh, prettifying the, uh, the exterior of our, uh, of our storage facility. All right, everyone, welcome back. And as you can see, we've finished up uh, putting the top on this and then digging it out. And I went ahead and laid down the flooring for this. And I'm thinking this is looking pretty good, but boy, that was a lot of digging. <laughs> Anyway, um, as you can see, I put uh, in the, the warped warp blocks, and I think those look really good as a nice plushy carpet feel. And then I also put sea lanterns in the floor here, and I think they will look very good for uh, our lighting source because they, they, uh, they really go well with the, with the blue of the carpet as well. And they should provide enough light uh, in between them. If, uh, I, I believe these, uh, these guys put off a light level of 11 or of 15 and you need at least a block level of 11 in order to uh, to stop mob spawns at least I'm pretty sure that's how it works maybe it's a block level of 8 either way this has uh, uh, just like five blocks in between them so it should provide enough light in order to uh, to keep this place pretty much uh, spawn proof but uh, we can always put some lighting in the ceiling as well. I went ahead and put in this uh, this staircase because I'm thinking this will look pretty good to have a second floor. Like down here, we could have all of the storage, uh, our 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 automated sorting system, and our storage for for all of our bulk materials and and such. And then you can come up the staircase to a second level that will have. Uh, uh, some like farms and such, so that we can uh, do some um farming for uh for things that are more afkable and that and and because we'll be spending a lot of time around here in our uh, uh storage facility anyway uh we we've been we've done a lot of work on the interior and building up the walls and such but i think it is time now to go ahead and try to make this look a little bit more pretty because right now this is looking a little bland we do have this red uh, strip of, of, of concrete going all the way through it, which does make it look nice. But, I'm ex um, but I want to put some more color into it and make it look nicer. So I've got this, these warped stem blocks, and you, might think, uh, and, you, and you might be thinking that these look a little silly, that they're just uh, like the, the, uh, they have an odd uh, texture to them. And you would be right. But if you were to place one down like this and then right click it uh, with with an axe, you can actually shear off all of the bark. And, and, and this goes for all of the other wood types as well. You can shear off the bark. But uh, I, I really like the look of this where it's not a solid color like, uh, like the concrete, but it also is a really nice blue color for, the, uh, uh, for some pillars that I'm thinking we can put on this guy. To, uh, to make it kind of look like it has a structural support. So I think we should uh, go ahead and put those in. I'm thinking to, uh, we probably want to frame out our, uh, our entryway and then uh, put some support pillars around it. So let, let's go ahead. Maybe we can start a support pillar right here and then go up a few blocks all while shearing off the bark of those guys while we're going up. Yeah, that I think that's looking pretty good. Like if we come back here and look at that, I really like the contrast of the blue to the concrete. And, uh, and and it even matches pretty well with the blue of the carpet in there. I think that looks really good. And I think that will give this uh, the color that it needs for, uh, for our build to, to take shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work around this, uh, see, see where I can put some of these more warped pillars uh, and um, to make it look decent. And then once I've got that, I'll bring you guys back in and we can start looking at putting a roof over this thing. 
I think we're on the home stretch. We just have a few more things to do. I want to do these pillars around the sides. I want to put a roof over the top and then a little bit of decoration. And then I think we're, we can uh, call this a successful operation. So I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to cut away and go do that. And I'll bring you guys back in after that. Okay, everyone, welcome back. And as you can see, we've done a bit more work and just, uh, outlined this with a bit of those uh, warped uh, uh, stem blocks. Uh, I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. I went ahead and framed out our entrance with just the stem blocks without the bark being sheared off and I'm kind of liking that. I kind of like how the how the uh, the texture is for it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna uh, shear that off and change it quite yet or if I should leave it. Uh, I think if we were to do the entire uh, bracings with that it would look a little too dark. I like how this uh, is very light and it stands out against the black stone. But I kind of like that entrance. Um, if, it, if it ends up bothering me later I can always go ahead and, uh, and sh shear those off or switch it out with something else but we'll see how it, uh, how it goes. It might grow on me. Anyway, so I think now about uh, I, I I think we're pretty good with all the all the lighting in in here and the flooring is is uh, pretty much done. I think with the exterior uh, with the interior work, all we really have to do is uh, build this second floor over the top, probably patterning it after uh, the same thing here with uh, with uh, this this carpet pattern and the and the sea lanterns. And then um, putting the roof over the top is for uh, our exterior work. And I think we can go ahead and do that right about now. That seems like a pretty good um, way to go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab a bunch of these. Make sure to get uh, another stack of blackstone or so and then we're going to turn these guys all into slabs uh, because we want these uh, um, I, I want the roof for this to be a really shallow slope I think that would look pretty good um, I'm not gonna convert all of them because I'm not sure we'll need all of them but uh, I want it to be a more shallow uh, roof than some of the other buildings again because this is going to be our industrial building we don't want it to be fancier than like our great hall or some of our other uh, uh, buildings that are supposed to look fancier so I'm gonna go ahead and just put uh, a slabbed roof so that it's uh, it's kind of a, a really shallow incline on that that's assuming I can get up I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna pillar over Anyway, so I'm going to get over here to this side and then we're going to go ahead and line all of this out with a, uh, with a layer of slabs along the outside.
All right, we finally got the cap on that roof. Now we can go take a look at it from far away and, and see how it turned out. I think it looks pretty good. We can go kind of circle around. Yeah, I think that turned out pretty well. I like how shallow the slope is, but it's not too shallow so that you don't know that it's a roof. And if we come in here, yeah, I'm really liking that. We still got quite a bit of light coming in from the uh, from the sea lanterns, so we should be plenty good. And I'm loving how spacious this this building looks. Of course, it's going to feel a little bit less so once we put over the the second floor, but um, we could probably do that on a stream or something. Um, Anyway, uh, so we are almost done with this. The other things I could probably, uh, uh, like putting in the second floor and such, like I said, I could probably do that on my own time or on a uh, live stream or something like that in preparation for next episode, which we're going to be installing the storage system. Uh, but the last thing I, I, uh, I wanted to do is I really wanted this to feel like an actual uh uh, like an industrial building and so uh, the, the last thing I wanted to do was I wanted to go in and put in some condensing smokestacks uh, on the top of this so it kind of looks like we're we're working on uh, some industrial things I'll probably put two or three of them probably three smokestacks and then at the very top of these stacks I'll put in some hay bales and some campfires and that will give it the uh, the illusion that uh, that the the uh, the smokestacks are being worked, and that we are uh, doing um, uh, a variety of different industrial things <laughs> inside of here. I kind of like that illusion, and I think it'll really complete the look for our industrial storage building. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more of this blackstone. I'm pretty happy we only used about half of our stash. We still got an entire shulker box and a half full of blackstone. And I think we even have a few more things, just uh, just some other, like the, the leftover of our slabs and some stairs and such. Anyway, that's not why I came over here. I wanted to convert all this blackstone into workable materials. Cool. Now let's go up and find us a spot for our smokestacks. So of of course it, um, we don't. Um, I, I'm thinking I don't necessarily want these stacks to be in the center, like you might think. Uh, most industrial buildings and such they have their smokestacks off to the top of a of like a of a specific process or a specific unit, and so they would kind of be off to one side, and then uh, in a parallel line. And I'm thinking that will probably be a good idea as well and I'm thinking maybe on this end over here is where we'd want to put our smokestacks so if we go ahead and place down uh, some of these uh, some of these blocks of course we're gonna have to speckle in some of that uh, polished blackstone I'm thinking like that, that might be a big enough one. We might want to do one bigger. So maybe coming out, uh, by like that, maybe circles are always really hard for me in Minecraft. <laughs> I think maybe we'll keep it just to the standard two, like we were doing it before, uh, the, the two by two. It might look kind of blocky, but maybe that's a good thing. Um, yeah. And we could build this one out of different material than uh, than the blackstone, but I think keeping it the same material might be might make some sense uh, because that's going to be the material that they had on hand, and therefore it would uh, be.
be the material that, that they would just use by default. Especially because this isn't supposed to be a decoratory, uh, a decorative building. This is just a uh, uh, practical building. And let's see how, if, how that looks. Maybe a little bit taller. But yeah, that's that's looking pretty good right there. We, yeah, we, we'd probably go a little bit taller, maybe three or four blocks taller. And then we'll put in the campfires. Um, and I'll spare you the the, uh, the 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 grind of putting in these smokestacks, but I'll bring you guys back in for the final look of our uh, of our storage facility and our industrial building. I'm really excited that we're finally getting this done, and that we can get the chance to start moving into our uh, our our new castle or our end game uh, base. I'm really happy about that. Okay, everyone, welcome back. As you can see, I think this has turned out super well. This is looking exactly how I wanted it to look. Oh, it looks good. I think anyway. I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but you guys should let me know what you uh, what 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 you think in uh, in the comments down below of of this build and how uh, maybe some more suggestions you have for builds in the future for us. I'm super excited. I'm really glad that you guys uh, came here for the video. I, I hope you enjoyed it, but I think that's all that we have time for here on the on the on the Thrive Guide. If you guys enjoyed the video, why don't you smash that like button and uh, and subscribe to my channel for some more content? I hope you guys had a great time, and I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.